Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Terroir, a winemaking simulator game. Uh, for, for those of you who have been watching this series, thank you for the comments because you are absolutely correct. I confused Pinot Noir with Pinot Grigio, and I've been putting my Pinot Noir as a white wine, and I don't know if that actually affects the end of what happens to everything. Uh, with the star ratings, I've gotten really low star ratings on my Pinots uh, because I've been putting it in a red bottle. I don't know if that really, or a white bottle, I don't know if that really matters, but I guess we will find out if I switch it over to actually the right type of wine, uh, the right type of wine bottle, if it helps at all. Not really 100% certain it will or not. But, anyways, moving on, we are still playing the same season two. It's going relatively well. I've got quite a chunk of money that just dropped in because I had just sold the stuff. I completely forgot. Let me go look at the uh, at the market here. And over at the market, uh, we, yeah, we're still waiting to sell bottles of wine and look at that $299,000. I got plenty of money. What I need to do is start working on getting a tavern is what I really want to do. Uh, the other thing is people were asking why I trashed some wine and did not sell some wine. I will tell you, if you sell any wine to anybody, I think including Krupp, like by getting rid of it and getting some money for bottle, the other distributors that you don't sell wine to, you might lose your distributor ratings with them. And the goal is to keep it at least above five because it gets me these benefits from them. So a lot of people said there's no negative effects to selling it. Why don't I just sell it and make some money? I'm pretty sure there is some negative consequence because if I sell bottles to these guys, these guys might drop to a four. That is actually the only negative effect that I know of of it, but I don't know. We will we will see. So let me look now. Uh, we're going at slower speed. I do really want to get that... Look at that, 438,000. Now the problem is it's not going to be at a lake tile. It would have to be at a... Oh, these are loams. There's another forest. I don't want a forest. I want a tile that I can build... I don't want to get rid of my clay. If I re-roll my lake, but I'm already surrounded by three things on this side. Oh, come on. I'm going to re-roll this and try to get some money here. Uh, oh, wow. I need to trim these up. Oh, trim foliage for one varietal. It doesn't cost any money right now. Oh, look how long, how long that takes. That's because I have my uh, distributor ratings are up for, uh, for that distributor that makes it free. So it does have benefit. But I definitely need to get to uh, get these things to actually be able to get some ripeness in them. June. Okay, either way, we're going to re-roll this tile right here. It's a lake. How much is it going to cost me? It's going to cost me five grand to re-roll now. Sandy! 25 grand to re-roll. Okay, screw that. Let's re-roll this one. Forest. Clay. That's not what I needed. I need some other things. Uh, let's trim this whole varietal. Let's trim this whole varietal again. Uh, the fungal rot. Somebody explained to me about fungal rot and what I have to do to fix it. And I honestly already don't remember. This is just a single varietal, so that actually doesn't really matter. They said that actually doing what I've been doing with trimming it back is not the way to fix it. Uh, I really need to... I don't know what I need to... Empty lot! There we go. Let's add this tile. So I did spend some money to do that, like a decent chunk of money to do that. Uh, but we are going to construct a building, not the works office, the tavern. $250,000 with a $1,000 monthly maintenance cost. Boom! I did it! I really wanted to check out this tavern. Oh, yes. I don't have any wines right now. Oh. But, uh, oh, a renamed tavern. I'm going to leave the tavern here. I'm not going to rename it because I will have I will rename it based on comments from this episode. Yes, I will. Oh no, I got a uh, uh oh. I just killed my shard. I just killed my shard and it's that one. I think I can save the shard again, so I need to go to this uh, fruit fly treatment though. It's up to a 10. Maybe I trimmed it back a little bit too far. We're gonna have some, uh, I like where these other ones are at. You know what? I don't really care. I'm gonna keep the other ones at the five. My Chardonnay, oh no, it got overexposed. 
crap, it got overexposed. That sucks because these ones turned out to be pretty good. With great canopy management on these ones, and then this one's overexposed. <coughs> That's pretty terrible. So let's do traditional crusher, traditional crusher, traditional crusher on all these guys. And my shard, I know how to fix it, but I know it's not going to give me the best wine ever. So now let me go back and look at my, my Chardonnay. My five wine with the five star reviewers was sixes across the board. Now the question is, can I make the sixes across the board or not? I need to decrease my sweetness by one, so I just need to let it sit for... Since I can only do two... Yeah, yeah, yeah that'll work. Uh, my Merlot. What have I been finding with a good Merlot? So 6666 was a four and a half Merlot. So... I don't remember where I was going. A 7777 seven, seven was a 2, and a 4555 five, five was a 2. So that doesn't really give me much way to go. What I need to do is like mess with just one of these numbers. So maybe I can try to get it to 6s uh, with my sweetness of a 7? We'll go for two weeks, and I'll see if I can adjust the other numbers based on that. And my Pinot Noir, not Pinot Grigio, Pinot Noir... I have not had anything good with Pinot Noir yet. I'm thinking maybe they want this to be a really sweet wine. So let's go a month and get this thing up to an eight wine and see what happens when I do that. It's gonna take a little bit to ferment because there, for some reason it makes you go as long as the longest wine that you have fermenting. Look at, there's all these people here and there's no like wine to drink. That's how cool my vineyard is. Is people just want to come check it out, even though there's no, no wine. Now this, so I want to get this up to a six 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 six, even though I know it's going to lose a star. So it's going to be a four star wine. So either way, if I put this on the, um, so it's going to be two of those. So this needs to get up to an eight. So I need to do seven. That's like standard right there. Now my Merlot. Actually, let's do my Pinot because that's the window I have open right now, which I really don't know what I was going to do. What didn't I draw? my sweetness go down? Am I low? That thing decreased the sweetness, didn't it? Not increase the sweetness. Okay, either way, I've got a sweetness of a four, which I've never done before. So if I get the acidity to like, if I leave the tannins, red wines need tannins, right? So maybe I'll just leave the eight tannins. We'll go something crazy. Yeah, because I've never done the tannins that high before. And then uh, the Merlot. We will start working on, so a 6666 with a four and a half. And I apologize for that, but uh, I don't like getting phone calls. I forgot to turn my, it's not that I don't like them. I don't like when I forget to turn my ringer off and get a phone call. Because that's my fault. It's probably going to go off again too, actually. So let me just cancel this call. Make sure my ringer goes down. Ringer is down all the way. There we go. So we are going to do this Merlot. And we are going to try to make it a heavy tannins. No, tannins can be down to an eight, so that's fine. My sweetness is going to be at five, which is going to be something I haven't really done before. My acidity, let's do, if I put 40, 30 in there, that'll bring it up to an eight. So it'll be a seven, five, six, six. Seven five six six. That's a good one to try, actually. Seven five six six. If I do that. Okay. So now, I want to take my Chardonnay. I'm just gonna put this in a normal French oak barrel. My Merlot, however, I should put it in a French oak barrel. And my Pinot Noir. You know what? Let's just do them all in the common French oak barrel for now. And I need to do this one for at least two months. I don't know how five or eight five eight seven five four eight six. We're gonna go at least a month here. And then I might take a look at my My Merlot is a seven five six six. Yeah, I think I'm gonna bottle that Merlot at seven five six six, which also added an earthly flavor to it as well as my Pinot Noir 4466 six. 
If I let it sit for another month, it's going to do something really weird. Yeah, I'm going to bottle both of these, and they, they both might be absolutely terrible. So, apologize to all you people out there who are going to get these wines named after you. So, anyways, this is my Merlot. And this is going to be... Uh, Oh, it's not a 6576. Oh, well, we're going to call it Obesny. O B E C N Y. Nice. 6576. Nope. 6576 Merlot 2035. And you're kind of going, what? That doesn't make any sense. Well, he just made a comment that 6576 was like part of his phone number back in the day. So, so an homage, even though this wine is not a 6576 wine. And we are also going to bottle this Pinot Noir. And it's, since it's a Noir, we will keep it in a red bottle. Uh, uh, and this is going to be uh, <laughs> Murphy's Trash Juice. Not even going to call it Pinot Noir. Just Murphy's Trash Juice, straight up. There's not many bottles that I had to yield on that was really bad. Um, so let's go take a look and see how this tasting went. So this is my Merlot 7566. Four star ratings, baby. Four star ratings. Oh my god. Seven, five, six, six. With four star reviewers is a five star wine. Kavsov is a wine that leaves a strong first impression, and this wine is a testament to that. Kavsov. But it's not a Kavsov. Is it? Did it turn into a cab sov? No. That was weird. Um, let's organize the tasting on this one as well. Murphy's Trash Juice. Let's see if we can get lucky with the trash juice. And this is going to be the Pinot. Oh, dear. Uh, so, at least it lived up to the name. Murphy's Trash Juice was a 4465. With four star reviewers, and it's a zero. And Murphy, we're going to trash your wine. Just to give it an homage to the name. It's trash juice, it's in the trash. I, I don't necessarily want to sell this to these guys, though I want to. I want to sell this to my tavern. How do I do that? Here we go. I'm going to sell all 600 bottles of this to you. Total renown being generated per month will be three. Okay, so we're going to see how that actually works. And I still need to wait until February. I'm not getting much money here. It's February. This is a 6-6 six, six, a six, six wine. Sadly going to lose something on this which is unfortunate we know it's a 6666 we know it's good and we got 11 cases of it that's kind of a valley dutchman cork it white it bottle it organize the tasting five star reviewers are, should give this thing a four four star rating which is fine I'm going to um, sell, how much do I have it? 1320. I'm going to sell 300, 300, 300. So I have 420 left. And I'm going to sell the other amount of wine. I'm still waiting to sell 480 bottles of that stuff. And we're going to sell 420 of this one. Why am I only generating two? Why can't I sell this? That's weird. Maybe you can only sell a certain amount. You can't sell that much wine. Okay, so 150, 25, 05, 10, 15, 20, 21. I can sell 120. Okay. Oh, so it must be you can get sell 600 bottles of wine. Oh, I should have read this. Wine sold at the tavern earns you 40% more than the retail price, but you can only sell a maximum of 600 bottles at a time. You can sell up to two wine types, but must wait for the tavern to sell off its stock before you can sell more. Wine that are rated three stars and above also generate renown monthly. So what will it be today then? Well, that's what it'll be today. 
Okay, so information. I just don't know how I'm gonna use said information. I only have 65,000 here. That, uh, saw my tavern is good, but it doesn't seem to, oh, my renown is going up a lot because of this wine. Whoa, 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 one. I need to trim all this stuff back. Trim a varietal. Is it still free? The people are out there trimming, trimming away. I don't want to overexpose these vines because that's overexposing really, really hurts you because, man, it drops a star rating off of your wine. And so let's drop this. I have 176,000 again. Not as much as I was hoping. We got the stupid fungal rod. It's only, or it's already June. I'm gonna trim this all the way back here. Trim both of these all the way back and hope for the best. God, that goes up fast. That went up fast. Somebody did tell me it's twice a month that it'll go somewhere. That it'll move. That'll actually be helpful right there. I don't like that fungal rot, but hey, it's there. What are you gonna do? Total yields four and a half. That's pretty decent. September. I kind of want to wait one more month. Or one more little bit here. Trim that variety. I don't know why I just did that. That was dumb. Uh, I can set up these things to trim a little bit here. I want a little bit more on these things is what I want. Without getting into the overexposed category. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? It's cloudy. It's cloudy and rainy, which is really annoying. It's November. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. So let's hurry up and say we got no negative effects. So if I can turn, you know, this wines into good wine. One of them I got excellent canopy management. None of the other ones really did anything that good. Traditional crusher, traditional crusher, traditional crusher. Now I really kind of want to send one of them through the, uh, the other type of barrels and stuff. But it just... Since the end result is all that really seems to matter, the end numbers, it doesn't seem as as important. So decreases sweetness by one. I don't want to decrease my sweetness. Ugh, oh, my shard. I'm going to have to, though. Uh, so let's go with my Merlot. And I got a 7566. So obviously I don't want to decrease the sweetness of that one at all. My Pinot, I haven't been able to do anything with yet. I think I want to increase the sweetness. So... Well, let's just leave these to ferment, and they're not going to ferment at all. So this one I need to bring up to, uh, if I want sixes all the way. I couldn't do anything with the tannins. So the tannins, I'm kind of screwed in the tannins. So this one's going to be uh, an interesting one. It's gonna, definitely going to be a different, a different type of wine. This one, my Merlot. 7566. Six. I can't get down to a six again, but I can get this up to a seven. Seven five. Yeah, so it'll be it'll be something. But being on noir, I'm still all over the place on with this one, on what I can do. I'm gonna make this one. Let's make it a sweet wine. Or uh, an acidity uh, acidic wine. Eight six eight six. I don't know anything with that yet. Let's try that. And then six five seven six. There's not. I don't want to like. It doesn't really matter what I put these things in. I guess I can throw this in. I'm gonna throw all these in steel because I'm not even. Gonna, I'm not letting them wait at all. And it just then I can just say I did it. 
Well, why not? I can just say I did it. 6576, zero months old, steal that. Who deserves a steal that name? Uh, so it's the RY, this is going to be the RY Malco. I think I did that right. Which is actually, if you see K. Oh, no, no. RY Malco wanted if you... You... Oh, my God. Why can't I spell you? C-K. There we go. If you see K's, RY Malco is my Chardonnay. I'm going to bottle all these right now. This is my Merlot. My... Spice Melange. I think I already did this name, but it's still on my list, so I'm doing it anyway. Come on. Get rid of that bottle. And then uh, this is my Pinot Noir. We'll go with a different different red bottle. Why not? I don't know anything good with this one yet. And this is going to be Tanya Dickerson's Pinot Noir 2036. So this would be good. Wait, when did... Oh, that's just the leftover I have from before. I was like, wait, I didn't do anything with that. So this is what I'm going to do a four-star rating on. Uh, four-star reviewers, because... Four-star rating, okay. I'm fine with that. This one... We're, gonna, we're sticking with the four stars, because I want to find out if I'm making any progress with this. Actually, this was a good one. Oh, it's another five-star wine. So, where was this? My, uh, 7576. And that's my Merlot. Seven, so, 7576 is also a four star reviewer. It's also a five star wine. So, that's really good to know. And then this one, my Pinot. This is the one I've been really struggling with here. God, I can't do anything with this Pinot. 7687. Maybe I'm going the wrong way. Four stars and it's a zero. So that one is just like... Disgust. How, how is there so many of these bottles? There's a lot of those bottles there. Uh, I want to sell before I do anything else. Let's go back to my tavern. Did I sell out of all my stuff in the tavern? I did. So let's do uh, 300 of these guys, and then we'll do God Emperors. We'll do 300 of these guys. So that's six. We can sell all those. We can go to the underground here. Go to my bottles. We are going to sell my uh, five star wine. How much do I have? I have 540 bottles of it. We'll do 100 to 200 and 340. And then we'll hope my five star rating remains there. We're going to sell all the rest of this to this guy right here. 3480. That's a lot of bottles of wine. Um, and that, my friends, is going to do it for this episode. Uh, so I've got the tavern. I've got the Merlot going okay. The Pinot Noir I'm still struggling with. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching another episode of Terroir. I will see you next time.